Hey guys, what's up? Manchi here and in this video we are going to install Twerp Recovery and then we are going to root Auto X4 using Magisk. So you need to make sure of a few things. First thing is that you have to have an unlocked bootloader which you can do from the Motorola site. Then ADB and Fastboot need to be set up on your computer. Go ahead and download Twerp 3.2.1-1 image and zip file from the Twerp website and download Magisk, the latest stable version. So I'll have a link to all these things in the description of the video. So make sure you have all these things. The next thing we need to ensure is that you go into settings and then you go into system and then you go into about and then you go to the bill number and you tap on it a few times, right? So now it says you are now a developer. Now I go back and there's this option developer options and I go ahead and I enable this guy okay and I click on okay now when you connect your phone to the computer you'll get this pop-up to allow USB debugging right so I have to hide my details but you select the always allow from this computer checkbox and then you click on okay once this is done we have to go ahead and boot the Moto X4 into fast boot mode to do that you just Click the power button, right? And you click on restart and just hold down the volume down. So now the phone has booted into fast boot mode, right? And there's no USB data cable connected as you can see here at the bottom. So now we're going to connect the USB data cable. Once you've connected the USB data cable, you'll see transfer mode as USB connected, right? Now you can keep the phone on the side. So you go ahead and type in fast boot devices and then click enter. And so there you see it, right? That is my device ID and it is being detected in fast boot. So the next step is we're going to boot the device using the twerp image, right? So make sure that you place the twerp image file in the same directory as in where you have fast boot. All right, so the command to boot twerp recovery from fast boot mode is fast boot boot and the name of the image file. So in our case, it is twerp hyphen 3.2.1 hyphen one hyphen patent.img and then you click enter right so now it will say restarting boot.img right so now my phone is booting into team win twerp recovery all right guys so now we are in team win twerp recovery so so if you go to install you'll see the files right so i asked you to transfer the magisk zip file and the twerp installer zip file so we'll go ahead and select this guy and we'll swipe to confirm the flash oops all right so now it is unpacking the installer and installing twerp on slot a now which will be followed by slot b all right guys so now twerp has been installed to both the partitions and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on reboot system so that the device boot packs into android ones and make sure you do boot into android ones to make sure that you know Twerp didn't break anything on the device. So we booted successfully back into Android. What we'll do now is we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. So to reboot into recovery, we first boot into the bootloader mode. So we click the power button, click restart and press and hold the volume down button until we see the fast boot mode. So now we are in fast boot mode. So we'll use the volume rockers to go through our options. So we have to go into recovery, right? So once you select once you're on the correct option, you select the power button to go into that mode. So now we press the power button and we'll go into recovery mode. So as you can see, now we're just booting into Twerp recovery. And now you go on install and you go ahead and select the Magisk zip and you swipe to confirm the flash. Oops. So now Magisk will go ahead and patch the kernel to root our device. So as you can see now, everything is done and everything was done successfully. So now we'll go ahead and just click on reboot system. Hello, Moto. All right, guys, so as you just heard the hello Moto thing, which means we're booting back into Android and we should see the magic cap in our app drawer. So we'll go ahead and check. So there you have it. So this is the Magisk Manager app, which just showed up in our app drawer. 
So after installing Magisk, if you want to confirm whether root is working or not, there's this app called root check. I'll put a link for the app in the description. So once you click on it, so here you see it's asking me for root access. I click on grant and then there it is. It will check whether my device is rooted or not. And it just say my device is rooted and what are we using? So we're using version 16.0 of Magisk. So make sure you like the video guys and share it on social media and subscribe to the channel. So see you when I see you.